Call 7 investigation on possible consumer fraud. An Aurora woman arrested and charged with felony theft. Call 7 investigator John Ferrugia first told you about Cary Grant and her company, 3C's RV. John, her customers say she was stealing their money. That's right, Mike. We found that Cary Grant would advertise under a number of different company names on the web and would offer sparkling RVs for rent. And when the unsuspecting customers from out of state would show up, she would often offer them unsafe vehicles or no vehicle at all, ruining their vacation. And then she would keep hundreds of dollars in their deposits. The deposit, how does that work? It's, it's $850 and we take it on your credit card and then it's paid back um, 25 days after you return the RV with no damages. Okay. I'm John Ferrugia. I'm Hi. from over at Channel 7 in Denver. Hi. Our undercover investigation showed that Cary Grant took thousands in deposits from unwitting consumers, many of the complaints showing up online. These folks had like a $1,500 deposit. Can't get it back. Can't get it back. Bill Craig is one who returned his rental and then hounded Cary Grant for his money to no avail. So I started calling, you know, 30 business days after and just never got any answer back from him, never heard anything back. Never got your check? Never got my check. She was scamming people to get their deposit money. Aurora police detective Steve Cox has been tracking Carrie Grant ever since our initial investigation. He says her bait and switch tactics left customers with unsafe vehicles and little recourse. And when they would de decline to take the vehicle or something, she'd tell them they'd have to sue her to get their deposits back. Grant is facing multiple charges, including class four felony theft, computer crimes for executing the scam through the internet, and false reporting to police. Based on our inter my interview with her, she didn't care. It was prove it, she's just a thief. Detective Cox says he had the pleasure of notifying victims that Cary Grant had been arrested, victims who were first identified by us. He said they had a similar response, gratitude that she's being held accountable. In the newsroom, I'm John Ferrugia, 7 News. If you have a story idea for the Call 7 investigators, call 303-832-7777 or send an email to call7 at thedenverchannel.com.